welcome or welcome back to my channel so for this video I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me for this look that you see right here I'm really in love with it I just got ready to take some cute pictures or whatever and some outfit pictures first want to introduce this jewelry to you guys I got three pieces of jewelry sent to me from Ana Luisa and I am in love with them. They let me pick out three pieces so I can introduce their brand to you guys and tell you a little bit about them. So I will have their information down below in the description box, their website, um, a link to all the pieces that I got. These are the hoop earrings um, called Tia Medium Gold. And then I got the um, Cuban chain necklace, which is this one. And then lastly, I got the moon necklace, which is this one. And the packaging that they send you your jewelry in is so cute. But most importantly, they are making sustainable jewelry at an affordable price. So this is all gold plated, but it's very high quality like gold plating. And typically I'm somebody who really can't wear any, just any old type of like gold plated jewelry or gold plated jewelry, whatever they say that it is. Like I have very sensitive skin. So if it's gold plated, it has to be gold plated. So the jewelry is tarnish free and long lasting. Prices are not marked up for the material that you are getting. So everything is affordable. You can find pieces for as low as $39. I will keep a pinned comment below and also include the information down in the description box. But yeah, I chose these pieces just because I really love necklaces. I'm not typically as somebody who wears rings, but I love to stack my necklaces or layer my chains as well. So I love really dainty pieces like this and all their pieces are like really just beautiful, delicate, very feminine. I love it. It's so my style. If you don't like to feel the weight of certain jewelry on your ears, try out these hoops because they are bomb and they do not feel heavy at all i will have a discount code for you guys i will put it across the screen it is let me make sure i have it right it's brie baby 10 but yeah like i said i will type it across the screen i will have it in the pink comments in the description box make sure you guys check out their instagram account so if you want to see any other pieces like actually on people you can look through their tag photos and look through their instagram feed and yeah that's pretty much it so if you guys want to see how i achieved this look then go ahead and keep watching the video if I didn't already tell y'all in the beginning of this video, this is going to be a get ready with me. I'm about to do a slick back with my hair. If you're wondering what's in my hair right now, I just have Eden Body Works leave-in conditioner and curl defining cream from an old wash and go that I did. When I do slick back styles, I kind of work on soaking wet hair. But I found that it's almost easier for me and my hair is not like dripping wet all over the place when I don't do it like that. Like it's almost easy for me to go into a slick back when I'm working with an old wash and go. I'm gonna show y'all exactly how I do that. First, I'm gonna get some water into my spray bottle just going to take my rat tail comb and I'm going to do a part down the middle. I haven't done a center part slick back in a hot minute. Okay, because my hair is actually really easy to work with while it's in this state. And sometimes I actually like to keep the curls of my ponytail at the ends of my hair. So I'm going to just spray this down. See how easy I was able to just get the edges into formation and I didn't even have to dunk my head under the shower or anything. Normally I would do that. And I mean, I understand that this method doesn't really work for everyone, but some, it's going to work for somebody. And then look at how, how much volume my ponytail has and how big it is. See, if I were to wet it, it would just shrink up. I would have to redefine my curls and all that, wait for it to dry. So from here, I just put it in my loop of a scrunchie. 
and then now that it's like in place i'm gonna add my gel so i'm taking my wet line extreme gel one of y'all commented under one of my old videos and you was like y'all said something like i'm trying to figure out where she got that big tub of wet line from i forgot to reply my bad but if you're watching this and you made that comment i forgot your name i'm so sorry but i got it from the beauty supply store it's a beauty supply store called popcorn in new york so if you're from new york or whatever that's where i got it from i'm sure you can find it at your local beauty supply store this big because i never see it in like target that big they only have like i don't know the the one that's like right under this size but yeah i'm gonna take my wet line gel and smooth it on and i'm gonna take my fake tangle teaser and brush out my hair like this take my bristle brush again Look at that. Laid. Laid. I'm going to use my spritz. And I always make the disclaimer. This spritz is not good for your hair. I do not recommend that you use it all the time. I don't use it all the time. I only use it when I'm doing slick back styles, which is rare. Because I'm kind of lazy when it comes to doing that type of stuff. But every once in a while, I use it but you gotta make sure you use a good shampoo to wash it out because it's got alcohol in it so that can dry your hair out Okay, so I am going to move to my room and then we'll get started on the makeup for this look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this look. First off, I'm gonna start off with the brows. So I've been doing my brows like this lately. I know a lot of you do not typically come for my makeup videos but for those of you that do i'm going to try to explain as much as possible while also making it enjoyable for everybody i'm taking my pear soap you can get this from dollar tree I just spritz a little bit of water onto the bar rub a spoolie into that soap and basically this acts as a brow gel. I'm really just focusing this on the tail ends of my brows to keep them in place. Done. Next, I'm going to be using this black owned, African owned brow pencil from, I don't want to butcher the name, Benoit. Benoit, Benoit, B I N W A. Feels luxurious and like heavy weighted. You know what I'm talking about? And this is their Lux Brow Slim Brow Pencil, waterproof, sweatproof the claims are true because y'all i wore this one night and my brows they did not come to play okay they were still on at the end of the night pencil and i had the shade dark brown <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
is concealer and I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 10 on my eyelids. This brow right here didn't come to play with y'all. Just letting you know. Low-key, I'm going to speed through the skin just because I kind of just move kind of fast with it. But I'm going to show y'all as much as possible what I'm using. And I'm really going to do my best to put all the products in the description box because I really appreciate y'all for really complimenting my makeup. Anytime I put up videos, so I want y'all to know what I'm using. And sometimes I just... I forget to just go back and like really list all the stuff in the description box but I'm using the milk hydro grip primer this primer is so bomb okay this is so bomb if you have oily skin dry skin normal skin combination this is gonna keep your makeup on boo I promise okay feels so hydrating really lives up to the name hydro grip unfortunately this isn't black owned however it is vegan <laughs> like that makes it any better it's vegan but nah for real it's vegan you know it's not made with harmful products it's derived from hemp it's gonna be good to your skin you're not putting a whole bunch of fake stuff on your face and Next, I'm going to use one of my favorites, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Yes, I'm still using this stuff, y'all. It just gives me like a really cute, natural look to my skin. So I like to use it. I just love the way it makes my skin look. right here on the outer part just a little bit I'm going to use for the first time ever in my life Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan Deep Sand I'm gonna use my Fenty Contour Stick in the shade Espresso. Now I'm gonna set my face using my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I'm using the shade Buttercup Light. Normally I would use my regular Buttercup one, but that one is a little bit too yellow for me right now. And the way how my skin is set up, I don't know. I just feel like it pulls too yellow in pictures and I'm not trying to look straight yellow. I like to look a little bit more neutral. going to bronze using my morphe bronzing and highlight palette 
and I'm gonna mix mm, these these two okay now for eyeshadow I told y'all it's gonna be so simple I use this palette to death, okay? Y'all, look at this mess. Look at it, but it's my baby. I love this palette. Totally recommend it if you're getting into makeup, just starting to get into eyeshadow, whatever. Get the Juvie's Place Warrior 2. It's all matte. It, this shade is a matte black. Mine clearly broke. So I'm gonna go in this first color, Yield It. I'm not doing anything crazy, just want to get some dimension in the eyes. Moving on, I'm going to use this color Kufuru right here, this darker brown color. blush i'm using the saharan blush volume one palette from juvia's place and i'm using this orange color it's not it looks yellow on camera for some reason but it's orange there we go orange and it's the color toby for highlight i'm using this color mirage in the morphe palette okay i'm gonna spray my face using the morphe luminous setting spray and it smells so good i think i'm gonna use these lashes today because I think we're just gonna go with these, okay? <laughs> Eyeliner, and I'm using my MAC Dual Dare All Day Waterproof Liner. Okay, now for the lip. I'm using MAC Current Lip Liner. They actually discontinued this color, but you could totally use Night Moth. Take off this. Look at this. Laid hair is laid. So I have my top on. I'll show y'all the full body when I get up. But I wanted to show you guys what I got from Kiss in PR. I got the Kiss and Sweetie collab for the Edge Fixers Edge Control. They sent me all four scents. I've got 
rich drip which is very cherry juicy ice which is grape pineapple and this one is called yummy and then i have squirt which is watermelon and squirt smells the best it literally smells like watermelon jolly rancher oh my god yeah it smells like watermelon jolly rancher they all smell bomb though so this is going to be the first time i'm using this this is what it looks like i we'll always brush out the little hairs first we're gonna see what this edge control is giving so far i like the texture of it it reminds me a lot of edge booster but it's possible that this could be slightly more moisturizing he works oh we got one swoop two three There we go. And these are so lightweight. They look like they will be heavy, but they're not. They are very, very light, which is what I love about them. I really don't wear like chunky hoops, but I like these. And they're so lightweight. I barely feel them. Oh my gosh, I feel grown. Oh, you guys, please let me know what y'all think of the look in the comments. I really love how this came together. The earrings, the accessories really just added a little je ne sais quoi. Love these earrings. Really love these earrings. Okay. Yes. I have this top that I'm wearing from Nasty Gal. I will insert another clip so you guys can see my full outfit. But yeah, I'm wearing this top from Nasty Gal. And of course, these pieces from Ana Luisa for my jewelry. And then my jeans are from Boohoo. So yeah. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this final look. I really enjoyed doing this. I miss wearing a red lip. I haven't worn like a look like this in a while. But yeah, I love everything about it. I love the outfit, the jewelry. I really wish I had somewhere to be, somewhere to go. So let me know if you guys want to see more get ready with me type videos. I haven't really done any in a while because I've kind of just like been pushing the hair content. Also, um, just to give you an update on the Saweetie Edge Fixer collab with Kiss. I like the edge control. The only like thing that i would say that i like better about this one versus like edge boosters because is that i don't have to worry about it turning white sometimes edge booster can turn white on you but this one doesn't do that and it held up pretty good i don't think it's as strong as edge booster like it's still a strong hold it's still a good hold i feel like if i were to give you edge fixer and you never knew about edge booster you would still like have a pretty good like edge control life you know what i'm saying like i don't really think you would be missing out on anything spectacular they're almost the same like almost the same so let me know what you guys think of the jewelry as well thank you again Ana Luisa for partnering with me for this video i really enjoyed it and i really enjoy these pieces too i'm gonna wear them all the time but yeah, don't forget all the information will be down below in the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.